Discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to OSPDFR. As always, I'm Sergeant Alpha. This is actually an episode I meant to release around Christmas, and I kind of got busy with a bunch of other stuff and traveling and releasing other videos for St. Christopher and now uh, United Roleplay. And it just kind of fell by the wayside, and I wanted to uh, go ahead and get that, get this out there before LSPDFR.04 releases. And that is why it is snowing. <laughs> Some of you may think it's out of place. But where I live, you know, sometimes we might get, we might not get snow all year. Or for the winter, normal winter months. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we'll get snow in January and February. And uh, a couple of guys I'm in, uh, you know, to roleplay with, they're actually getting snow right now. So we are starting to get a little bit of snowfall. Now the next episode, we'll have a lot of snow. Again, that was another episode schedule originally scheduled to release around Christmas as you can see we have a nice lighting package on this Crown Vic that is from the Tampa Florida based pack now we're going to get ready to head out on patrol here momentarily and um, make yourself available for calls and see what we get and uh, as you can see we have a fuel script in the speedometer now so we're going to see how that works out for us uh, ambulance hijacking. We'll go ahead and take that. Uh, it's uh, been a little bit since we've done a call like this, I believe. So we know we'll try to come up and stop them. They're already uh, running from us. And oh, hit my car. And he's going to be out on foot. Now we're going to try to get into taser range here. And uh, if we can fail. Uh, and get some additional units in. I didn't mean to call that many units in. Uh, right side, we are going to get him taken down pretty quick. Uh, but. Uh, I wasn't planning on the whole south of vision here showing up. <laughs> Alright, so he is in custody. So we will uh, go ahead and pat him down, see if he had anything on him. Uh, pocket knife, the phone. He does have a weapons permit. He doesn't have them on. So, uh, these guys are going to be clearing off. I guess we will go ahead and take him back to my vehicle. And I'll uh, deal with him down there. No, right, guys, and again, I really do apologize for not doing anything else pretty far for a while just like I said I got busy and 
uh, one of the Rockstar updates had broken LSB far for everybody for a while. And it's probably about the second or third update in a short period like that, so it just kind of irritated me and I was done dealing with it. And so I had already had these to record, and after that, I was just kind of done with it for a while. I may come back to it after point zero four releases because uh, there are some interesting things I've seen about it. And, uh, but you know, I have to go through and kind of sort everything out first before I can start uh, playing point zero four. And uh, like I said, I've been having a lot of fun with five M. That's uh, definitely taking my main focus right now. Uh, all these guys are just still sitting down here by my car. I'm pretty sure one of these guys could have moved my vehicle to where they weren't probably just sitting there. And that last guy just trying to ram everybody through my car. But uh, you know, it's actually <laughs> kind of interesting that we have all these cars just sitting here for this guy. And where's my guy going? He's kind of walking around. Uh, okay, I guess they're going to take him now. Okay then. Been uh, quite interesting. See you around. See, ya, I guess. Uh, okay, we'll go back and make ourselves available for Carl's here in a minute, and uh, uh, see what else we can get into, I guess. But uh, yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, we have a civilian requiring assistance. We're going to be right to that code three or code two, sorry. Now I am still going to clear the intersections. As well, am uh, blipping my siren through lights and stuff, or uh, stopping like that. So uh, we don't come just T-boning in somebody or somebody T-bone us. Uh, it is up here around uh, Rockford Drive, I believe. That's where they set up that. So I don't have too much longer to get there. Not sure what the uh, call will entail, other than that it was a uh, civilian requiring assistance. So I guess we will uh, kind of sort things out when we get there, figure out what's going on. And uh, hope to get everything sorted out and back on our day. How long are we on our day? Uh, it's been uh, kind of interesting so far. Hopefully, I don't have anything too crazy enough to wait. Okay, it looks like we have Tracy. I don't know that's not gonna be her name, but she's sitting here for some reason. And I always forget to change the interaction button, so bear with me, guys. Okay. Uh, Julia Henson. She's saying her parents won't let her into the house. Oh, thanks. Okay, so, you know, with it being kind of cold and snow coming down like this, they, she doesn't need to be outside, you know, even if um, they're arguing. You know, it's like not even nowhere near responsible parenting to lock a kid out in the cold like this. I'd be lucky if I don't end up arresting them here. Hi. All right, talk to her, see what her problem is. You don't care. No, nah, okay, well, too bad. You're going to care anyway. You're going to let her in. Let her in or go to jail. Make them up your mind. Okay, so she's going to be let into the house. 
and apparently the caller is walking up the streets for some reason. I'm not sure why. Normally they stay in front of the gate there. I don't know if it's because of the uh, script, and I thought that door opened for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of the uh, observation script or what, but she is definitely walking off before I can even sort out the problem. Hi. Hey, thanks. And there she goes. She's walking back to the house. I guess <laughs> she's decided it was taking too long. But, uh, no. God, she almost got ran over. And, uh, we're gonna make sure she gets back across the street now. She almost died. Uh, I make sure if some car comes through, they'll hopefully stop for me, even if they don't stop for her. Uh, get back to the house, get back to our car, uh, get ready to hit the road again. See if we can find anything else to get into. Um, I guess she's gonna stay up there now. And, uh, hopefully, no. Uh, Keep uh, doing what we normally do. Just looking for trouble. Trying to make the streets of Los Santos less dangerous, I guess. I uh, can't make it for all the uh, mayhem we normally cause in them and normal GTA. Ugh. I'm going to come forward tonight and I'm uh, waiting for another call. It's going to be an uh, interesting one at least, I hope. We are starting to get kind of low on gas, so I guess we're going to have to get gas at some point here. It's uh, never good. That is uh, one thing I don't really like with the script, the gas just goes away very, very quickly. I you know, put gas in it right before I started the episode, and then we're already down to around a quarter of a tank. Uh, Alright, so we got gas back, and we were back on patrol, and this guy just came flying around the curve in front of me, cut me off. Luckily, I was far enough back to where, you know, there wasn't any real chance of me hitting him, you know, if I'd go, been going a little bit faster, maybe. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and stop him and see what that was about. Yeah, we have him where we want him. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pull up behind him. And uh, fortunately, this is one of the spots where if we try to angle our car too much, traffic's gonna get stopped behind us all over the place, like this bike here. Suspect flight is placed. Set for Nora William Ocean 010, a traffic violation. So he has a flag for expired insurance in addition to driving like a freaking moron. So since I can't angle the car, I'm going to at least make a passenger side approach here. Hey. Get up. That's so going to ask for license and insurance, and the insurance is expired. And ask him if he knows why we pulled him over. And we will go with, uh, let's see what we're going to go with here. Uh, well, I guess we're going to go with the regular driving. That's probably about the best, uh, option, but. Well, yeah, maybe failure to yield. The car is something else. Uh, let's see. We're going to see if we can figure out where he's headed to in such a hurry. I mean, you don't need to drive like a jackass, dude, while you're just going to get a haircut. I mean, you kind of need a head by the time you get there. If he owns the vehicle, I believe he does. Um, so if he's still a normal question, see if he's been drinking and driving or uh, don't need drugs or anything like that. He says he don't have to answer the question for uh, beer, but he does say that he has used drugs recently. Interesting. I 
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and have him step out of the vehicle. Um. That is messed up. Stop! Police! I mean, he's gonna take off running on me, okay. I'm going to uh, go ahead and detain him for now. Uh, right now, <laughs> probably suspicion of DUI, if nothing else. Uh, you know, just to make sure he doesn't take off running on me again. Uh, we'll go ahead and pat him down while we have him here. Make sure he doesn't have anything on his person. And we will find that he has... A phone, mark cutters, camera, and methamphetamine. Boom. Okay, so yeah, he definitely... <laughs> That's probably driving under the influence. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a breathalyzer on because of that. See so if he's saying back all in the system as well. Thanks. And it will come back uh, point zero zero. We'll go ahead and uh, take him back. And I probably could run a breathalyzer, but I'm not going to do that right now. Downtown I'm going to go ahead and put him in the vehicle and then we will uh, search his car in a moment. Uh, make yourself unavailable for calls so stop getting call outs going on. Okay, dude, what do you got in your car? A phone and a small photo. So, no drugs in his car, just on him. There is that. And then uh, I guess we're just going to store the evidence here. I can remember how to freaking spell. And uh, we'll go ahead and test it while we're here, actually. And as you can see, it shows up um, suspected methamphetamine. We're going to see if we can confirm that. And it is positive for meth. So, yeah, he's going to be going to jail for reckless driving and possession of meth. Uh, yeah, definitely not a good day for him. And that's just goes to show you guys don't drive like a freaking moron, you get yourself arrested. For something that I wouldn't even normally have known. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look him up really quick. Uh, I forgot what his name was. This guy, I wanted to do it, but I can't remember what his name was. Uh, it's not going to shame me because he's already in the car. Oh well. Uh, there we go. Check uh, black hole. Um, so he has had several previous citations. Coming on shoulder photo yield, driving without uh, with license suspended. Go ahead and do his citation first. Now, normally, if they were still in the car like that, I'd uh, keep this where I can see what's going on with the car and kind of around my vehicle. Uh, you know, it's not really that much of a case now unless somebody's going to come up and try to bust them out. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do the ticket for expired insurance. Uh, I guess that's going to be. I'm going to leave the model blank, uh, blank in the plate because it'll be on the rest report anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and add that one. Then we will go to where are you? Yeah, dispatch, 
What am I looking for? No, I'm looking for something here. I can't think of stuff I mean, what I was just looking for. Uh, right away. There we go. Go ahead and do that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish that up. No, I'm not going to really do uh, DUIs because I don't know for sure he is until we get back to the station. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the charges for him. Uh, it's probably going to take a second. Well, no, there it is. I was going to say it's been taking me a second to find everything. It's uh, been a little while since I've played, so. Uh, yeah. So, reckless driving, expired insurance. Uh, I think I uh, did the failure to. Uh, right away violation there in the ticket, but that expired insurance and possession of meth. So, we'll get a transport going for us. And uh, let them take care of this guy. And I think I'll end up having time for one more call out or uh, traffic stop, and that'd be all we get here. It has been uh, quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, I don't know where that secondary unit is going. Uh, I think they see me because they're just creeping up the road, but they're still going the wrong way. Oh, there we go. They turn around. Okay. So, since this guy likes to try to run on me, I'm just going to get out make sure you don't try to run on this guy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get in there. Appreciate picking him up, dude. Hey, what's up? Appreciate it a lot. So, uh, we are going to go ahead and get ready to head back out. Uh, the car's uh, pretty much okay right now. It's in a parking spot, at least. I don't want to have to tell the phone, have to. Okay, uh, firearms incident. So, we're going to be responding to that code 3. Traffic's freaking out a lot here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Got way over the freaking mustard trying to hit me. Uh, you can see how far out they're freaking out, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, second car's try to suicide into me. Uh, I do hear other sirens, you know, maybe it's actually a pursuit behind me, so them coming to help. Oh, hello. Just blatantly, uh, Shooting each other over there. Nah, I'm not even really gonna try to talk to them because they're trying to kill each other. Okay, that guy looks like he's kind of fucked off. Nope, no, 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 no. Could have been fine, dude. You could stay down, but no. You had to try to shoot me, so now you're dead. And we still have gunfire. What? Okay, he's shooting the body. Okay, drop the gun, dude. Dick. Drop the gun, dude. Dude, drop the gun. Nope. Yeah, he just shot a uh, freaking bus. I don't know why he decided he didn't like the bus anymore, but... Jesus. Now, I'm... I honestly think that the guy in the blue was the victim here. You know, and I probably would have worked with him. That's why I was trying to turn to just drop the gun, dude. Drop the gun, even though he just shot the motherfucker and then shot his body, but... As soon as she shot the bus, I had no involvement whatsoever. Uh, that was kind of his downfall there. I was like, I have to screw at that point. I gotta stop you. And what you know, it really is too bad because, you know, that's it. He was probably just defending himself. But he wanted to take it to the next level. So we're going to try to get EMS for these two idiots that decided to shoot each other on the side of uh, Strawberry Avenue here. But, uh, while we're waiting on EMS in the corner and whoever else we need to waiting on, 
I think that's actually going to be about all I have time for for this episode, guys. Uh, so if you like what you see, by all means, give me a like. By all means, if you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. It'll really help me out. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'll have one more pre-recorded episode like this for LSPDFR that I will try to push out, you know, just since I already have it recorded and I don't want to kind of waste it. Uh, but, uh, I probably won't really do a whole lot until point zero four for LSB before it comes out, and then nope, this one's gone. at the same time, I'll still have to go in and uh, fix what's all's wrong with LSB far to this get it up and running again before I can even start to record, and it uh, looks like both of those are going to be dead on arrival. Uh, yep. Both died two minutes ago. Well, I don't know which one was Jessica, but... Okay. <laughs> um, not sure which dude was called Jessica, but what, who was Jessica died and the other died. Uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be all I have time for. Uh, like and subscribe, it really help me out. And uh, keep an eye out for that next LPFR that was pre recorded, and it might take me a little bit to get back into it, but I'll try to. I uh, do some more LSPFR as well. I kind of miss doing it just a little bit, but at the same time, I am um, really liking doing 5 in with the guys and uh, no role play. So I don't do it as much anymore. That's why you know, I will try to get the occasional episode out there. Though. But thanks for watching, and until next time, guys.